Don't worry about it. So today I'm going to do problem 1.12. From the book. So it says calculate the average volume per molecule for an ideal gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. Now I'll stop right here. So let's say that the uh, room temperature is equal to 25 Celsius. This is usually what people assume to be room temperature. That is equal to 298 Kelvin. The pressure is then one atmosphere. Or 10 to the power of 5 Newton per meter. So now um, here it says then take, the, take the cube root to get an estimate uh, of the average distance between the molecules. How does the distance compared to the size of a small molecule like N2 or H2O? So in order to do this, we just have to uh, use our ideal gas formula. Which is oh, here is square. I don't know the square. Okay, uh, P V is equals to well. There's two formulas either N R T or P V is equals to uh, capital N K T. I'm just going to use the second one, um, and let's see how that works out. So we have add pressure. I'm just going to use time to the power of fifty. Actually, I'm going to do this first. So I have the volume per molecule. If I do this. That's why I'm using the second formula. Volume per molecule, you can find directly, is equals to KT over P. Which is equals to what? Well, K is equals to 1.38, let me write down here, okay, times 10 to the power of negative 23 joules per Kelvin. Well, temperature is 300 Kelvin over the pressure that we said is equal to 10 to the power of 5 newtons per meter squared. So if we just plug in our calculator, we have 1.38 1. times 10 to the power of negative um, 23 times 300 divided by uh, 10 to the power of 5 we get 4.14 times 10 to the power of negative 26. And this is actually um, meter cubed per molecule. So now let's find what is the um, uh, space that every single molecule occupies. So we just have to take the cube root, which is equal to at the power. Well, we take the results from before. We put it at the um, power of one third. And that is three point forty six times ten to the power of negative nine meters per molecule. And I'm just going to say the diameter of a molecule is equals to 0.3 times 10 power of 9 meters or 0.3 nanometers. So I can find that the ratio between the um, volume that they occupy, so I'm just saying volume over the distance or diameter, sorry, is equals to what? Are we going to have 3.46 meters? Over 0.3 nanometers on top because we have it power 9 over 0.3 nanometer, so it's approximately 11 times. This is the solution to our problem.